this is Valerie from Valerie's Photo Channel. In my last tutorial, I showed you how to create and apply a preset upon import. Now in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can fade or reduce the opacity of your preset if you find that it's too strong. But before we get started, if you want to subscribe to my channel to get alerted to all of my new tutorials, just click up here on top. And if you want to get my free 66-page Digital Photography Basics eBook, just click down here. And if you want to learn more about my Taking Family Portraits video course and get a huge discount, just click over here. Now on to the tutorial. So presets can be fun and you can create some interesting effects, but sometimes they look a little too intense. And there isn't a slider in Lightroom to dial down the opacity, but there are a couple of workarounds you can use. So I have an image here in the develop module, and the only thing I've done at this point is I've just made a exposure adjustment. So here's the first way you can deal with the, um, the opacity of a preset. So I'm going to start by applying a preset, and this is going to be an intense one to, for illustration purposes. So you can see that right off the bat, there have been some changes to the contrast, the highlights, uh, white balance, uh, or I'm sorry, the whites, and a little bit of clarity. And let's see, um, I don't see anything on the tone curve. Let's look at the HSL panel. And we can see that there are changes, considerably, considerable changes to the luminance. And down in split toning, we have some changes. And let's look, it looks like there is a pretty strong vignette, and yes, there is. So one way you can reduce the opacity of a preset is simply to go through the sliders and adjust as you desire. So um, you can see that this might take a little bit of playing around with, especially let's go back to the HSL, because you would have to play with all of these individual sliders. So you can do it and you can get create your own interesting effect and that's what presets are for anyway, right? Because you want to give it your own look. But if you simply want a straight um, softening or reducing the opacity of a preset, there's a pretty easy way of doing that using Photoshop layers. So I'm just going to hit Control or Command Z and I think I have to do that a couple of times to just get back to my original. Okay, there we go. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a virtual copy by right-clicking and selecting Create Virtual Copy. Then I'm going to apply my preset to the virtual copy. Now I'm going to shift-click on both of the images and then I'm going to right-click and I'm going to go to Edit In. And instead of just regular edit in Photoshop, like you would probably do in most other instances, you want to go down here to open as layers in Photoshop. And the reason why you want to do that is because otherwise those two images will open as separate files and you want them to open as layers in the same document. So let me just get this to pop up full screen in a moment. Okay, here we go. So now you can see we have our two layers and we're within the same file, so that's good. So what we want to do is just move the original to the bottom so that we have our virtual copy with the preset applied at the top. And then be sure you click on the top layer and then just go to your opacity slider and then drag down the opacity as far as you want and that will reduce the opacity and lighten the overall effect of the preset. And then when you're done just hit the X to close it and you want to save it, yes, and then this will open back up in Lightroom in a minute. And here we go. And we have our, we have a third image here, and this is saved as a TIFF file. You may have your pre preferences um, set to save as a PSD, but I have mine set to save as a TIFF. 
And so here is the um, image with the reduced opacity. And then we still have our virtual copy with the full effect and our original. So it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And if you liked it, I hope that you'll click the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.